keeps keeps you you know your mind and your spirit grounded and, and to me it's it's for for my kids and my nieces and my nephews to to for me to keep them safe that's what canoeing means to me it takes a lot of commitment and you know hard work on and off the water, you you, you get your your diet. You, know, there's, you should be having no fast foods, no fried foods, no greasy foods. My grandfather always said that you want to be you want to be somewhere and somebody a champ, a true champ would be somebody that's going to run and work hard every day, go swim every day to cleanse your body and. and your, your spirit and also to you know to live off the off the land you know, traditional foods meaning you know you're gonna have deer elk fish clams oysters and all of these different foods that are that our ancestors have survived on for generations and you know it was never never fried it was always like boiled or steamed and and poached. My name is Gary Smith and I'm from Slanemach First Nation. Um, when I first started paddling, it was back in 1991 when I started paddling. There's been, been a lot of changes since then and the mainland and the Chilliwack area and here on Vancouver Island have expanded their equipment that they use to to train and then those are the canoes there some of them use the outriggers and they have a dog leg a bent paddle that is more common today in the racing circuit whereas it wasn't common back when I first started paddling, it was just the traditional straight blade paddle. Training has really amped up with all the crews. That's another thing that has changed. Back when I paddled, we did a lot of water, a lot of training on the water, as well as running. We didn't go to the gym very much. In my grandparents' time, they never did, did that. They, they just basically used what they had, which was the road. and for running and out on the water. Other things that have changed is they've opened the doors for younger paddlers to race. They have um, seven and under races, 13 and under, 15 and under. Back when I first started, there was only one race for buckskins and that was 16 and under. They never had little kid races, so I think that's a good thing because it's pulling more people back into the sport because the sport was dying. But today, to this date, there are more crews again, so that's a good thing. And I think that a lot of it has to do with the doors being open for the younger kids to participate in race. Yeah, there's been so much change like there and a lot of it I think is good change you know the the people have shifted their their way of how they train and, and it shows out on the water on the racing I'm Brianna Y. Seward I'm from 
the name of first mission. Growing up paddling, I would have to say, was one of the easiest things. Having my late grandma, Mavis Wise, by my side. And she just slapped me on a canoe one day and said, you're a paddler. I started paddling with my Uncle Jamie, Seaward, and I got to see Grandma Mavis, as old as she was, still run. And me being the cheeky little one, I said, Grandma, I'm walking as fast as you. And she said, that's okay, I'm still going. And those words just play in my head. I'm okay, keep going, no matter how sore, how tired I am. It was passed down from late Papa Bill, Seward, down to Grandma Mavis, now down to Dad, now us, and I can't wait to pass it down to my kids. Kai's already been eager to jump on the canoe comes out with his dad and fills in our extra seats for women's 11 when we train. And we can't wait to teach her and let her sit in the bow just like mommy and auntie.